What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to tackle a project that's not only good for your wallet but also awesome for the environment, rainwater harvesting. We're going to break down everything you need to know to become a rainwater harvesting pro, from understanding the legal stuff to building a system that fits your needs. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting to think about sustainable living, this video has got you covered. So grab your notebooks and let's dive in. All right, before we grab the tools and start building, we got to talk about the legal stuff. Some places have restrictions or even outright bans, so don't skip this step. Head over to your local government's website or give them a call. They can tell you everything you need to know about permits, regulations, and any specific rules you got to follow in your area. Once you've got the legal stuff sorted, you're good to move on to the fun part. Designing your system. Trust me, it's important to get this right from the start. Choosing the right spot for your rainwater harvesting setup is key. Remember, we want to maximize that water catching potential. First things first, think about your roof. A large sloped roof is like a giant water slide, sending that precious H2O straight to your collection system. Next up, scout out potential locations for your storage tanks. Ideally, you want a spot that's close to where you'll be using the water, like your garden or even inside your house for things like flushing toilets. And of course, you gotta make sure the area is level and sturdy enough to support the weight of those water-filled tanks. Now comes the fun part. Picking out your rainwater harvesting system. There are a bunch of different options out there from simple rain barrels to more elaborate setups with multiple tanks and pumps. If you're just starting out, a rain barrel is a great way to dip your toes into the rainwater harvesting waters. They're relatively inexpensive, easy to install, and perfect for smaller gardens or outdoor use. For those of you looking to go all in, a larger system with multiple tanks connected to your downspouts is the way to go. This allows you to collect and store a whole lot more water, which is awesome for bigger yards, multiple uses, or even as a backup water source for your home. Remember, the best system for you depends on your individual needs, budget, and how much water you're hoping to collect. Chapter 4. Sizing Your System. Don't get caught short. Alright, time for some math, but don't worry, it's not rocket science. First, how much rain does your area get on average? You can usually find this information online or by contacting your local weather station. Next, think about how much water you plan on using. Are you watering a small garden or a whole farm? A good rule of thumb is to aim for a system that can hold at least 10% of your annual rainfall. Chapter 5. Gearing up. Your rainwater harvesting toolkit. Now that we've got the planning out of the way, let's talk about the fun stuff. The tools and materials you'll need to build your rainwater harvesting system. First up, you'll need a good set of gutters and downspouts to collect that precious rainwater from your roof. Next, you'll need a storage tank or barrels to hold all that collected water. You can find these at most hardware stores or online. Just make sure they're made from food grade materials if you plan on using the water for drinking or cooking. And of course, don't forget the essential plumbing supplies like pipes, fittings, and a good sealant to prevent any leaks. Chapter 6. Rainwater Math. How much can you really collect? Okay, time for some more math, but trust me, this is the fun kind of math. The magic formula is rainfall in inches times roof area in square feet times 0.623 equals gallons of water. So let's say you get an average of 30 inches of rain per year and your roof is 1,000 square feet. That means you could potentially collect a whopping 18,690 gallons of water. Chapter 7 Gutter Glory Installing Your Rain Catchers now that you've got your gutters and downspouts, it's time to install them. This is a crucial step in ensuring that all that precious rainwater actually makes it into your collection system. First things first, make sure your gutters are securely attached to your roof line and sloped properly to direct water towards the downspouts. And don't forget to seal any gaps or joints with a good quality sealant to prevent leaks. Chapter 8. First Flush Diverters keeping your water crystal clear. Ever notice how the first bit of rain after a dry spell looks kinda dirty? That's because it's washing away all the dust, leaves, and other gunk that's accumulated on your roof. That's where first flush diverters come in. These handy devices divert that initial flush of dirty water away from your storage tanks, 
ensuring that the water you collect is as clean as possible. They're relatively inexpensive and easy to install, and they make a big difference in the quality of your collected rainwater. Chapter 9. Filtering out the funk keeping your water pure. Even with a first flush diverter, it's still a good idea to filter your collected rainwater before using it. This is especially important if you plan on using it for drinking, cooking, or watering delicate plants. There are a bunch of different filtration methods out there from simple mesh screens to more sophisticated systems that use charcoal or UV light to remove impurities. For gardening, a simple mesh screen might be enough, but for drinking water you'll want a more robust filtration system. Chapter 10. Storing your liquid gold tanks, barrels, and more. Now that you've collected all that pristine rainwater, you need somewhere to store it. Rain barrels are a great option for smaller gardens, or if you're just starting out, they're relatively inexpensive and easy to install. For larger scale water collection you might consider investing in a larger storage tank. These can be made from a variety of materials including plastic, concrete, or even metal. No matter what type of storage you choose, make sure it's covered to prevent mosquito breeding and keep out debris. Proper storage is key to maintaining the quality of your collected rainwater. Chapter 11. Keep it flowing, maintaining your rainwater system. Like any good system, your rainwater harvesting setup needs a little TLC every now and then to keep it running smoothly. First up, regularly inspect your gutters and downspouts for any leaves, twigs, or other debris that could clog things up. A good cleaning once or twice a year should do the trick. Next, check your storage tanks for any leaks or cracks. It's also a good idea to empty and clean them out once a year to prevent any buildup of sediment or algae. And of course, don't forget to check your filters regularly and replace them as needed. Chapter 12. Happy plants, happy you gardening with rainwater. Ready to give your garden the royal treatment? Rainwater is like liquid gold for your plants. It's naturally soft, free of chlorine and other chemicals found in tap water, and full of beneficial nutrients. You can use it to water your plants directly, or even collect it in a watering can for a more controlled approach. Consider setting up a drip irrigation system to deliver water directly to the roots of your plants and minimize evaporation. Chapter 13. Beyond the Garden Household Uses for Rainwater Don't think rainwater is just for plants. You can use it for a surprising number of things around the house too. One of the most common uses is flushing toilets. It's a great way to conserve water and save money on your water bill. You can also use it to wash your car, do laundry, and even for cleaning floors and windows. Just remember, if you plan on using rainwater for any purpose that involves human contact, you'll need to make sure it's properly filtered and disinfected. All right, before you go chugging down gallons of rainwater, let's talk about safety. While rainwater is generally safe to use for most purposes, there are a few things to keep in mind. First and foremost, never drink rainwater that hasn't been properly filtered and disinfected. Even if it looks clean, it could contain harmful bacteria or parasites. It's also important to keep children and pets away from open containers of rainwater. And lastly, be mindful of mosquitoes. Make sure your storage tanks are tightly sealed and consider adding mosquito dunks or other larvicides to prevent them from breeding in standing water. Alright, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The cost of setting up a rainwater harvesting system. The good news is that it doesn't have to break the bank. Simple rain barrel systems can be set up for as little as a hundred bucks, while more elaborate systems with multiple tanks and pumps can cost a few thousand dollars. The good news is that rainwater harvesting can actually save you money in the long run by reducing your water bill. Alright, let's wrap things up by talking about why rainwater harvesting is so awesome. First and foremost, it's great for the environment. By collecting and using rainwater, you're reducing the demand on municipal water supplies and helping to conserve this precious resource. It's also good for your wallet. Rainwater is free, so you'll save money on your water bill, especially if you use it for things like watering your garden or flushing toilets. And let's not forget about the satisfaction of being more self-sufficient and knowing that you're doing your part to live a more sustainable lifestyle. That's it, you made it. You're now well on your way to becoming a rainwater harvesting expert. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, 
and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Now get out there, start harvesting that rainwater, and let's make the world a greener, more sustainable place, one raindrop at a time.